about data entry, coffee dripping, and other things as interesting as paint drying, but I'm really mostly going to talk about paint drying. What these three things have in common is that they're all things to consider pretty boring, but that are actually really, really cool. So I'm going to start with coffee because a lot of our days start with coffee. And why do they start with coffee? Because it makes you happier, because you feel like you need it. So why do you feel like you need it? Well, because when you drink coffee, at least most coffee, caffeine goes into your brain, and then uh, it competes for receptors with this chemical called adenosine, which basically makes you calm. So then the caffeine is taking up too much calm space and your brain starts producing more stuff that makes you calm. You start depending on the caffeine to have the right balance of calm and not calm. So these are all these chemical reactions going on in your brain all the time. And they affect your life and you don't think about them and they don't play a huge role in your life, but they're pretty interesting. So while we're talking about chemical reactions that are pretty interesting that we never think about, let's talk about paint drying. So paint is basically a pigment suspended in another substance, either water in the case of acrylic or watercolor paints, in which case the water evaporates and the paint dries. But in the case of oil paint, it's oxidation that happens. Basically, the oil oxidizes. So the same basic reaction that causes the change and look as cool as this one does is the reaction that makes the paint on your wall look shiny and glossy and cool. And the other awesome thing about this process is that it never really stops. It goes on basically forever. So most of the paint dries, say, the day or the week after you start painting your room, but it keeps on going. Bonds keep on forming in between the molecules of the oil. It keeps oxidizing. So the paint in your room is still drying. So then, okay, you open a can of paint and you put it on your wall. You can watch it oxidize. You can watch these chemical reactions happen all the time. So this thing you think is really boring is actually totally awesome. And then, <laughs> I mean, it really is. And then, so you open the can of paint and you see this water is on the top, right? And that's the oil. It's usually called drying oil in an oil paint. Uh, and so you can add more oil to paint. It'll change the appearance of the paint, but it'll also make it dry faster. Then you mix it up to make it sort of a more homogeneous mixture, so you can, you know, paint your wall, and it becomes a colloidal substance, which is a substance microscopically dispersed evenly throughout another substance. Milk is one, so is paint. There are a lot of really cool things that can be discovered from the properties of colloids, uh, and these are studied in a lot of different places. And so one of the things that is cool about colloids has to do with the Tyndall effect, which basically has to do with how light scatters through particles in the colloid. So blue light scatters more strongly than red light. That's part of the reason that the sky appears to be blue, and if you put flour in a glass of water, like in this picture, it appears to be blue. Um, and also, if you open a can of white paint and it looks sort of bluish or greenish, it'll look more white when you spread it on your wall because of that same effect. Um, so you're watching all these chemical reactions happen, and that's pretty awesome in itself, but this process of paint drying and other things, like it is, as Eric B. Fresny in his lab at Yale says, far from mundane. Because coatings dry and peel and change the materials beneath them, and they fail in really interesting ways. And this diagram here is a sort of stress graph of paint failing. What happens when it dries and begins to peel off the wall? And that spike is when the paint begins to move the most. The molecules of the paint are sort of peeling off the wall. So does this matter for the paint on your walls or on your oil painting? Not really. But this sort of chemical reaction that's happening here is related to a lot of really interesting things. Um, for instance, in topical medicine, how does the medicine drying affect the skin beneath it, and what effect will it have? Or um, in face paint, or uh, makeup, or any other sort of coating that goes on skin, how is it going to affect the skin beneath it? So, you, or even in mechanical engineering, say you're coating things with paints or liqueurs, and you need to know if they're going to fail, how are they going to affect the substances beneath them, and how are they going to change a gear, or house you're putting together. These things have really serious effects. And all these things are interconnected in all these different ways. So while we're speaking about things that are interconnected in a ton of really different ways, I mentioned data entry. So you think data entry is one of the most boring jobs in the world, right? You type things in. But it's actually really exciting. I mean, so you open a blank spreadsheet or an empty database and you have to type data into it. Well, first of all, there are a ton of really exciting ways of changing data using Excel or using database software, and I encourage you to look them all up. The other really awesome thing is that there are all these pieces of data connected to each other and interrelated in all these millions and millions of different ways, different people, different ideas and places and things and chemical reactions and paint that's drying on your walls. So, I mean, this is part of Europe, and I imagine how many people are represented by each of those little points of light, how many paint walls they're painting or cups of coffee they've had for day, or different kinds of medicine they're taking in ways that it's affecting them. So the overall point I'm trying to make here is that next time you see a wall of wet paint or a coffee cup or a percolator or a rusty paint can on the side of the road, it's probably worth the journey to work with you. <laughs>